hey there, reelers. I was just laying here thinking about how it's opening weekend for motorboating, and I know it's going to be very busy. So I figured instead of joining in the chaos, I'd do a little video today on how I registered my kayak. After several years of paddling kayaks and fishing, I realized there were some elements that were hindering my kayak fishing experience. For example, fighting the wind, having to paddle a long ways to get the locations on the lake that I want to fish, and keeping the boat over the fish once I get there. Of course, these elements added plenty of excitement and skill to kayak fishing, but I've been wondering if there is a more relaxed way to do this. The more I thought about it and the more the industry evolved, I got interested in pedal and motor kayaks. I entertained the idea of going to a bigger fishing boat, but really liked the economics of the kayak sized vessel. Having a kayak makes things more versatile, such as storage, being able to car top, and also being able to bring it on family camping trips. After about a year of trying to decide what type of kayak to get, I ordered my Old Town Sportsman 120 with the Minn Kota Spotlock Trolling Motor. Having never owned a motorboat before, I knew getting a motorized kayak would involve some research. So here's where I started my research. According to the State Parks and Wildlife Department here in Colorado, any boat with a motor has to be registered. I looked through their website to find out how to start the registration process. The process involves completing a boat registration form and submitting proof of ownership. Proof of ownership could be a bill of sale, a previous registration certificate, an MCO, which is a manufacturer's certificate of origin, an MSO, which is a manufacturer's statement of origin, or other legal documents indicating ownership. Since my boat was new, I found an MSO in the back of my manual. I also found that Old Town has a downloadable MSO form on their website. They also conveniently had a link to the state registration requirements where you can click on your state to find out how to register your boat within your state. Colorado requires boaters to buy an annual aquatic nuisance stamp and go through a mandatory state inspection upon entering and exiting any Colorado waters. I went to one of the local state parks and talked to the ANS inspector, found out I can take my registration form and proof of ownership to any state park office to get registered. This means I wouldn't have to send anything through the mail and wait. They also gave me a boating handbook with regulations and statutes. Once I had everything filled out, I went to the parks office and got registered. This is when I received my registration number, paid for my ANS stamp, and also procured a fishing and small game combo license. Now I had everything I need to put the registration stickers on my boat, which I ordered online. You can also get these stickers at sporting goods stores. Now I'll walk you through how I installed my registration stickers. So once I received that registration sticker, there was instructions on where to place it on the boat. I used some white tape to lay out the area where I wanted to put the stickers. And then I used some rubbing alcohol over the surface of the plastic to make sure it was really good and clean. You can use a little bit of window cleaner before you put the stickers on. This gives you the ability to adjust the decals after you put them on. So I use the bottom white line as the baseline to line up the bottom of all of my numbers with. And this sort of helped me get them all laid out straight. There were some measurements that I needed to adhere to according to the instructions that came with the registration sticker. In hindsight, if I were to put these decals on again, I think I would center them between where the white tape is and the top of the gunnel. So it would be a little more uniform once I was finished.
Once the window cleaner dries out and evaporates, the stickers stay on pretty good. Okay, well that'll wrap up today's video. Um, hopefully you found that helpful. If you're getting into motorized kayaks or needing to register your boat, um, you might be might be curious on that, how that window cleaner application worked for getting the stickers to align. Here we are a couple weeks later and they're still sticking on their good. So I think that was a pretty cool trick. Um, use that when it works sometimes for putting stickers on things. So now we just got to get this thing out on the lake. So I've been patiently waiting. We've been having some severe wind here in Colorado the last couple weeks and I uh, actually went on a camping trip where I was going to take the kayak and that was going to be the maiden voyage but I think we had like 50 mile an hour sustained winds the whole weekend so ended up leaving the kayak home on that trip. Like I said earlier the reservoirs are open here now so I can take it somewhere locally and uh, might have to uh, arrange a day off here and there to get out there during the middle of the week. So if you're uh, into kayaking or kayak fishing, motorized kayaks, uh, stay tuned to this channel. Um, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up for me and uh, we'll get some more content going. Appreciate you guys who are subscribers, those of you who just watch for the crazy entertainment. Hopefully my videos aren't too cheesy. So stay tuned for the next video. I'll catch you next time. Hello? Cool.